Hello everyone. Okay, let's provide the solution to this problem. Okay, this is simple. But the question is, is there any value of x that we can easily think of that will satisfy this equation? Okay. If we put um, 1, it's not going to give us 40. If you put 2, it won't give us 40. If you put 3, it will not give us 40. If you put 3 here, it's going. In, it means that you're having 8 plus 8. If you put 4 here, it's going to be 16 plus 16, that is 32. If you put um, 5, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 32 plus 32, that's already 64. Is more than 40 already so we can think it and that's the more reason you should sit watch and learn now before I continue subscribe to my channel okay I'm waiting for you to subscribe because if you subscribe I will know now let's continue we can add this two as we have two of two to the power of X and this is equal to 40 okay do not bother yourself the first thing the next thing you do is to just remove these two by dividing it by two then you do the same on the right this is going with this right okay so our 2 to the power of x is simply equal to 40 divided by 2 and that is 20 do not divide by this 20 again because you will be wrong. As it is now, this x is attached to the 2. So you can no longer divide both sides by 2. You will rather take the log of both sides. Okay, log of 20. So once you are taking the log, then the power can go behind because there is a law that says this power here will shift down here. So that it will multiply log 2. Then on the other side, we have log on 20. If we want to continue with this, then we shall have to divide both sides by 2. Divide this by 2. I mean log 2. So that this can go. Now our x is now the subject. And it's equal to log 20 divided by log 2 now what again do i do if you leave it at this point it's okay but we can simplify this because 2 can be found in 20 but do not divide 20 by 2 and get log 10 that is not correct or that will not be correct so our x will now be equal to we will now have log 2 Okay, we have log 2 times 10. Let's put it together. All over log 2. Okay. Do not cancel this and this yet. What do you do? Our x will be equal to... We have log 2 plus log 10. Because of the multiplication, so we'll add the logs. Then we divide this by log 2. You still cannot cancel it. If you take a step further, you have x to be equal to log 2 divided by log 2 plus log 10 divided by log 2. This can now go there. So that we have x that is equal to 1 plus log 10 divided by log 2 okay now we can still simplify this so we have x equals 1 plus log 2 times 5 and that is over log 2 okay so we'll do the same thing that we have been doing okay so x will now be 1 plus here again we will you know break this 
So we get log 2 plus log 5. Then this will be divided by log 2. Okay, so we now have x to be equal to 1 plus log 2 divided by log 2 plus log 5 divided by log 2. Now this will go there again. Now we have x equals 1 plus 1 plus log 5 over log 2. Now, our x is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 plus log 5 divided by log 2. Okay, so from this point, we will change the base of this. Provided they have the same base, we can now give them a different base or give it a different base. Our x is now 2 plus log 5 to base 2. These two here becomes the base to the power and um, the numerator. So from here now we have the value of x because we do not want to have our value in decimal form. But remember that the given equation is um, 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 40. Now let us verify this. How do we verify? We put the value of x into this and see if it gives us 40 on the other side. This is 2 to the power of 2 plus log 5 to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of 2 plus log 5 to base 2. This is what we have, right? Now, from here, now we're going to apply one of the laws of indices. And the law says we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of log 5 to base 2. Because if we, since we are multiplying the, um, the bases, pick one of them and then add the powers. That will give us this. Then plus 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of log 5 to base 2. Now, the next thing to do is 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Multiply by 2 to the power of log 5 to base 2. Because the base and this base right here are the same, we will just work with 5. Because we believe this and this will cancel each other. Then plus the same thing will reflect 2 to the power of 2, 4 times this and this will cancel. So we have 5 again. Now... 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4 times 5 is another 20. If you add, we get 40, and it is the same 40 that we have over there. Okay, so we had the same 40 over there, and we are now having it down here. So this means that our x equals 2 plus log 5 to base 2 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching and um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel because I'm looking at you. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.